Could you survive on $21,000 a year? That's the average income in the western Queensland town of Mutterborough, which the tax office classifies as one of the poorest places in the country. In our Cost of Living series, we look at how people there are making ends meet. Nicole Bond travelled to Mutterborough for this story. 1,200 kilometres from Brisbane is the small community of Mutterborough. Living in the centre of Queensland is costly. It's one of the poorest postcodes in Australia. Milk is a very expensive item here, and even bread for us. Pearl Langdon needs to make her $700 a fortnight pension last, so she buys powdered instead of fresh milk. If you make it up the day before and put it in the fridge, you don't know the difference. The nearest supermarket is more than 100 kilometres away, so the town relies on a convenience store. I have to put about 70 cents a kilo on my fruit and veggies to cover the cost of freight. And with the mercury well into the 40s in summer, the air conditioning stays on for four months of the year, meaning power bills are a drain on the finances. It is a big cost and and people do discuss it. So, yeah, they probably do shop less. They probably don't buy maybe the chocolates and stuff, the, the luxury items. The latest ATO figures show seven of the top ten poorest postcodes in Australia are in Queensland. All have fewer than 200 residents. How are you, Shamay? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Mutterborough has a few small businesses and a handful of government jobs, but very limited employment opportunities. Incomes might be well below average, but there's a thriving social scene. The pub is where every man and his dog gathers, whether they drink or not. John Lillico is adamant he wouldn't survive financially in the city. Bar the cold beer, lovely lady, what more do we want? He's on a pension, uses solar power and has money to spare for the pub because housing is cheap. That's one of the reasons I'm out here, besides I'm the bush boy anyway. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I really don't know how they do it. If they had half a brain, they'd come out here. <laughs> they really would. But it's hard work on the Downs country. Over the last six years, drought and power prices have intensified. Grazier John Seckham has spent $25,000 on solar to keep costs down. This 10 kilowatt solar system we've put on the shed roof up here, and um, that should run all the power that we require on our homestead complex. Oh, I think you use your head. I think you can stay here quite easily. Isolation comes at a cost, but it's a price they're willing to pay to enjoy the riches of outback life. Nicole Bond, ABC News, Mutterborough.